Hey everyone, welcome back to Base Building with Robert. Post Infinity Siege. Trying to see if I got I turned I muted the audio on my turned my speakers off basically to see if this helps the sound. So I'm hoping it does. Not on the right. If the best in a new microphone, I guess, or a better one. Thought I got a pretty good one, but <clears throat> Let's get into the video. We're going to do the same basic setup around the base. Um, so the problem I had in the last build is too many advanced auto loaders. Um, some reason that the amount of material that you're able to get um, doesn't keep up with the hand the base's handling. So I'm going to, have to do a more <laughs> diverse setup, you know, so I'm not just using Hellfire, which it's, you know, they do a good job, and I will use a lot of Hellfire still, but, and I also had a question about uh, using pillars instead of uh, utility walls. I was going to try and see if that worked as well, if, if I understood the question correctly. I think that's what he was asking. Um... <clears throat> I don't think I get, I mean, I do, they have to damage a lot to get through these. So, but I don't know if I gain enough with the space I lose. I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and try putting them in again this time anyway, just to, so I'm going to have to overlap these because I need the three squares for the, Or the <clears throat> oh, I got them in the wrong spot. Well, I'm just uh, clustered today. I had somebody ask me the other day I was in the game or yesterday if I do videos, and I, I was like, oh, kind of made my day, you know, you know, to get to have somebody that's watching my videos. You know what I'm saying? It's just. Am I doing different today? That's always good to have good feedback too. I, I have no problem <clears throat> listening to what people say. I'm still learning. I, I mean, I've done quite a bit of videos, but I'm assuming the audio is good. You know. So what I've tried today is I've muted the. I turned the speakers off. Hopefully, I'm not getting any feedback <clears throat> through the system. I do have a cough that's terrible, but you're supposed to be figuring out what's wrong with me. I'm hoping this works because uh, I like the quality of my videos to be good, you know. Um, I'm going to overlap that one like that. That should give us the gap. <clears throat> Because if you're not getting anything out of them, then I'm irrelevant. You know what I'm saying? So um, hopefully this the audio is fixed. If not, I'll buy a new. I might have to go to voicing over, which I really don't want to do. But because you think about a lot of things as you're building, and I'm just recording and, and <laughs> voicing over. Then I don't know what I was thinking in the moment. You know, I guess I could go through and do that. I don't know. I really appreciate the feedback. It's been very, it's been fun. You know what I'm saying? And, I, and by all means, I'm not an expert for sure. I'd like to showcase some people's bases one time and have it where you guys send me your uh, designs and stuff. So how did I do that? Oh, I left it narrow on the end. Okay. So what I'm going to see, I'm going to put a wall along the edge, utility wall, and then I'm going to use pillars after that to see if I get a better result because that'll let me do double sides. But I don't need to do double sides on the outside. <clears throat> and I know some of you may be going, uh, I, I don't have enough to do, you know, 
and, and then we could just do pillars all the way through. And, but I'm still going to run out of space because I don't have this many Supreme loaders yet. Supreme uh, generators. Be nice if this cloth would go away or this dry. You know what I'm saying? One thing or another, it seems like. Wish I could Z to hide that? No. I don't have the do Z. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. There we go. That's annoying. Okay. Oh, I can't do that. That's not the right spot. Um, this was a viewer. What Can I use pillars there instead of... Um, I've never used them. I've, I I know they can attach the Supreme uh, generators on them. Hmm. I'm going to end up moving. So I'm going to do this right here. I'm going to pick those front ones out because that's going to be the ladder going up. I will need to take some out of the back as well, so... Let's put a wall in right here. <clears throat> do a ladder. Now do I put in, so this is where you can put in these blocks that, that way you can still put batteries there. Which I think I'm gonna run out of batteries because I don't think I have enough to do double sided. I'm hoping these walls aren't too thick and that it allows me to put them on both sides without colliding. So here goes that. Let's see what we got here. So it will let you attach. Just got to find a happy medium. Okay, there we go. Now let's go on the other side and see. <clears throat> oh yeah, it's going to be tight, but the game's going to let you do it. They're a little elevated. I guess that's the way the I wonder if I'll have a collision problem with the roof. <laughs> Let me put up some walls on the outside. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping we don't have too flat. So now let's put a tile in. Make sure that I'm at the right height and that's going to work. Rotate in. Nope, nope. So let's go control Z. So that's not going to work at all, looks like. Let me adjust these and see if I can go to a lower connecting point. So let's go back up to the the loaders. That looks like I'm further down. Mm. Okay, now. So I need to connect further. That is further down. Look at that, yeah. Okay, so that should work. Let's see. Put a floor tile on. So it depends on where you attach them. Looks like, yep, that's going to be it. Of course, I don't have the stairs connected in right now. <laughs> And I don't know now, this is between a flat wall and this wall. So let's see if we can do it between two sets of pillars, you know. Yeah, okay, oh, there we go. Oh, control Z. So I need to connect there, right there. Hmm. Okay, let's go on the other side. See if it's going to do a collision on these poles. Yep. It's going to collide. There's the problem right there. So I think I'm going to go ahead and just control Z back and um, get rid of these pillars. And then I'm going to do every other one. So, 
Mm. Right here. Oops. And then right. Okay, so we should be able to do pillars everywhere else. And this is going to eliminate putting storage down here. But it's also going to eliminate my core power should even shoot up even higher. So let's... Uh, Batteries, we got 173 of these, so. All right. Come on. I think I'm going to go over the top of it because I need to go a little bit, a little bit lower to get it. Oh, there it is. No, it's too high. Controls. <clears throat> there it is. I know it's a little off on that one end, but let's see if I can do a better job hitting the spot. So it's, it doesn't matter. It's just going to be shifted. Oops, that's not what I need. It's going to be shifted one way or the other. So there it is. Okay. So it is going to work. It, it's just every other one looks like. Oh, well, that's not going to work, Robert. Hmm. Well, I guess I can put, um, I know what I'll put there. So I'll still put these here. But on the other side, I'll put, uh, <clears throat> my controllers. Or like, we'll go down. There it is. Uh, my for my. Uh, well, my tongue doesn't want to work today. So. Mm. Nope. Let's see if doing the F thing will make a difference. I don't think it does. <clears throat> there it is. Okay. Whoops. Raise up. We're at 16,000 core power. Hmm. 30,000. No, 20,000. Excuse me. What are you reading, Robert? But did I gain anything? Hmm. Twenty thousand three sixty. Twenty two thousand. Okay. Let's see if I gain more. Twenty three thousand nine I guess I'll put some storage right here in the middle. And because uh, I don't think I can, I mean, I guess I could reconfigure it, move it over. No, it'd still be pillars either way. And I'm good. Okay, let's put in basic wall. And then we're going to put in the perimeter wall. <clears throat> I have 85 of these. I'm going to try these on the outside. And I'm going to still cover them up with because the, they're, they do a damage of 900. And the outer, that would increase my, so this wall is now 4,000, still 4,000. <clears throat> 
but it's got two not two um, 1100 1100 1100 900 so as I build the corner it's going to increase the the capacity of the of the tile and the block usually you can get this you can increase do an increase on the block when you overlap it which I'm not seeing that right now so So my core power is going up. No, no, it's not. That looks good. Nice. Oh, I, wow. See where I left that a whole big line of stuff. Hmm. Good job, Robert. Well played. I mean, okay, that's sarcasm for... Come on, Robert. You can do better. Now we're at 25,900. The good thing is when I start adding batteries and storage, the capacity is going to increase dramatically as well on the core power. <clears throat> okay, where'd you go? Look at that there. All right. We're at 900 in some places to 1,000. So let's see what this does. So that's 11, 1,000, 1,400, 4,000. So that's what they're going to have to get there, all that, to get into your building. And that's why we layer our defenses. <clears throat> Tell you a little secret when you're doing a mission. It's purple or above. Put it in the, uh, the tower, the core to return back to base. If it's, if it's not, burn it. And the reason why is you're going to get, and then put all your gold in there for sure. And the gold is where you're going to do the best. By putting all the gold into the tower, the multipliers increase. If everybody puts the gold in there, if you carry it back on your body, you don't get the multiple. It has to go through the core tower to get the multiple. I've never showed, took a cruiser cannon back by itself and got more than just one cruiser cam. That's all I got was one cruiser cam. So your best bet is to get it into the tower. Now the last level, usually when you, if you play with me, I just tell you to get whatever you want because I have plenty. I've been playing for so long. My main goal is to uh, develop the game itself. You know, develop, get players in here, advance the game to uh, something else, a different level, you know, like just... I think like if they did a five base jump in base building competition, um, you you know you're you built a base for tier one, tier two, et cetera. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I think that would expand the game too because then you'd have a lot of people playing to be the top base. Um, the biggest wave. How, how high did you get? How how did your base fare? Okay, your value is up, but did your base make it? You know what I'm saying? How far did your base make it? So, you know, that would expand the game dramatically because then you'd have people that just want to build. But... <clears throat> you know, best team hall, best team unit. Uh, Bring the ammo in in advance, stuff like that uh, is going to help you be successful too. But the game itself, to be successful, they're going to have to do. They're going to have to bring in other options, like a building, a base building thing. Well, they can do a generic mode one too. Like it's, oh, it's open, open, everything's open, and but you can't play with it. You can base build and enter competitions, you know, or something like that, and then. I think a lot of people would just, I don't want to play the game, I just want to build a base. You know? And then I think a five base jump in where you're competing to be the top base would make a big difference too because say you're jumping in to defend the central point in the game, you know, and <clears throat> excuse me. Okay, so we're going to do Hellfire on bottom again too. And you're jumping in to defend a central point in a base. Um, you know, and, you know, it, your base outlasts everybody else's. 
it just pours on the siege. You have to, you know, so like if I have too many hellfire and I'm causing, I'm not getting enough material, then oh, there I go. I'm done. You know, my base is going to fall. Also, I think they need a better ammo management, ammo production management. Uh, I've tried to turn them off and tried to turn them all on, but you can, it's like one at a time. It's like, hmm, uh, not really what I'm looking for here, you know. I think I'm good on the even. So what I like to do before I just go to the back, I put two on the back, but it would leave it awkward. So I'm doing three across the back and then starting again here. I think I can only get two. Excuse me, I gotta turn off my phone. Sorry about the interruption. Right here, thinking about a Xenian weapon. You know, not that one, obviously. Uh, this one. There you go. Okay, let's go to the back again and get the hellfire out of here. And then to the side. I feel like this side of the base doesn't receive the brunt of the attack like the other side. So you probably could adapt to that. Now, even in even in the Infinity Siege, the second one, the, the main brunt comes from the right-hand side all the time. Like you get two waves over there. You get one come over the hill, but they never combine. The other one's far enough out that your guns can take them out. I feel like the siege comes better, comes at you more from the right side. Even in the end game, it comes from the bridge and then out the tunnel and in the front. You can, the other side, you, I've never had to defend from. You know what I'm saying? Usually the guns are taking care of everything. Don't run out of ammo. So, all right, I'm going to fly around this five more times. All right, let's do this, Robert. Okay, I have 17 of these. And I found out you don't need to put 17 on there. Because this thing will consume material. And I think it's more the hellfires uh, consuming uh, your, your material at the rate they do. So probably want to do two layers of hellfire, and that's it. They'll be controlled by the bottom ammo loaders, and that's it. That looks good. So I'll probably take this one. We're going to put a small ammo loader here and feed it up the hallway. That'll take care of both of those. Same with this one. Let's see if we get it in the right spot. All right. <laughs> okay, now we're going to work on the exterior walls. Now, let's see. There. There. Yes, I am going to buy this is upset. So let's play the game. Because I'd love to buy this. Well, let me do one here. Yes, there it is. So 5,300. When you overlap by 6,200 here, 53 and 62. That makes for a nice... And then... I could probably put storage there, but I'm going to do a lot of mixed. Um, mm, mm, let me say that five more times. Uh, battery and storage. I wasn't doing that in the past. I was just doing all storage or all batteries. So we're going to have this wall in. I'm not trying to attach to that. Oh, there it is. Okay, then right across the front we'll do. Oh no, we're going to do armor on the front. I spent forever to get this armor. I'm going to do it. You know what I'm saying? Now let's do the reinforced plate. Now I may not be able to do that on the whole thing. So let's go back. Control Z. What we need to see first is does armor. Well, I'm pretty sure it will let me do it. There. 
There. Okay, we have connections still everywhere, so that's good. I'm going to go back and do the reinforced armor in the middle. I may end up having to take out one or two of these bottom ones to apply uh, amplifiers to them. And so <clears throat> right here is my point of entry right there. So what we're going to do, since these will work, we're going to do half walls around the front. Right? And then a half wall there and a half wall there. Then we're going to do full wall, a full armor. And then we're going to do a pillar or a uh, platform, large. Okay. I can probably get away with another pillar right here. So let's go. Mm. Gotta love the game sometimes. Oh. I didn't turn it that way. What are you doing? Okay, there we go. And then let's move past it. See if I, uh, I lose that connection. So I need to do it right there to there. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to leave that open. So what I'm going to do, if I end up leaving this corridor open to a certain point, see what, what it does here. So nothing. Okay, so utility walls here, there, there, there. Put the wall on the inside here, put it the other side there, and then the doorway here, transfer support to the upper levels. Okay. So I'm going to put one of these here just to have for defense. You know, see those crazy nebula guys want to jump in on me, you know. And then we just repeat on this side. No, forget, there we go. Okay, armored wall. Did I not put one there? Hmm. It's weird how something. Okay, armored wall again to there. Okay, and we have one afterwards. And we put three here. Again, it gives me control and everything. <clears throat> okay. And I left it a tunnel so I can go down there manually load if I had to. So here we go across to there. Been trying to do a few uh, less um, um, ammo loaders, ammo creators, um, and because I think uh, I'm still producing too much for some areas. Like, oh, you hit plenty of, of, of ammo for this area, and then you just kept producing for it. So I really need to focus on the front, so I might do five up, up here and four, three in the back. And that'll give, probably still fill up the back, but it also slow down consumption somewhat. All right. yeah, I don't know if that's going to make a difference. I'm just going to have to see my concept in action and see what I'm doing. Get it to... There's that. You know, later on, this will be right next to the other one, and I don't know why they do that. It's so stupid. Just leave them in a certain order and go for, go for it. Oh, and a lot of this stuff is about trial and error. That's your biggest thing. Here, 
Well, let me see. Okay, I put 55 hellfire on it. Well, the consumption rate was too quick. Okay, so what do I do next? Um, well, let's mix up the mix up some other stuff back in. So you can never really get away from, you know, hellfire or uh, the sea whizzes and the stuff like that. You have to put that in backwards. <laughs> All right, we're at 26,000 uh, core power. And the core power is going to come way up once I get uh, uh, batteries in. Same scenario down here. We just don't have a... Uh, a, uh, that's because that's how I want to do it backwards. Okay, we don't have a small ammo loader, smaller ammo loader to deal with. Okay, and then on the back, shorter. And armored across the back and it's short again. I wish they'd give the option to make like a pointed ship, you know, where the, 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 the floor is pointed or a circle ship or a octagon ship, you know, where you have, you know, like a stop sign, you know, um, you know, your platform can be changed. You, oh, I can buy different platforms, like uh, one in the shape of a vessel, one in the shape of um, a stop sign to make, you know, to create the the, the eight-sided defensive system, you know. Those would be uh, really good in, like, the the Return to Dawn battles or the Infinity Sieges. What? I don't have any more of those. Let's see if I can make some armor blocks. <clears throat> I can make those. So what do, what do I need? I need scrap metal. I used all the scrap metal, so... Since we're making this video, we're going to save it. The good thing about this is the most important thing about putting all your gold into the tower. Right now, I think I have 5 million in gold. 6 million, 100,000. So I need scrap metal, right? So R. Oh, well, there's the armor plates right there. I'll get 20 of those. Then see how many times I can get those armor plates. Nope, that's all I want to get there. And that's just putting stuff in store in the tower, six million. You know. I do play a lot, so but you can get seven hundred thousand on a level, good level, especially if you're playing a good a good team that's willing to fight and battle and you can do all the high speed levels, you know. It makes a big difference. I need that to we go ahead and get the scrap metal and then escape, escape him back to the hangar. Turn around, come down the hallway. The glitch in the game is right here. Ready, set, jump, freeze. You just wait till the, oh, oh, that, oh, wow, a little faster. All right, we're back at the base. Go in here, build base. Edit. Nice to be able to see it from uh, uh, 
from a walking level, you know. It's pretty neat, I think. I think it makes the base uh here we're over here. I had to remember where I was at. So we got some more armor block. Got some more plate. Now need a pillar on this one side. Okay. Let's see if we're still connected to that one. Yes we are. Okay, so let's just put one right there. There. So let's go on the We didn't lose anything. The good thing is on some of these areas where you lose lose power, like it's not supported or something like that, you can usually use a smaller grid to get that support or add multiple large blocks um, to get the same support. All right, I'm missing something. I know. Okay. I don't have anything in the front. So see this large section here is where we may run into some problems. But I should be able to yeah, do what's needed. And obviously I don't have a ladder, so uh, that's why we're getting the grid, grid notification. Okay. See that? That's good. And then that one right there. I probably need to take those out anyway because I lost connectivity. So that one, that one, that one, that one. I think that all of them. Can't take that one. Out. So that one's still connected over there because it's got the distance. So in this area, I have to go through and put this in because you have to have a tile plus a tile. Big tile plus a little tile to put the hellfire on. So, did I delete that corner? Yeah, I did. And go from there. Okay. Okay, small ones. So this level needs to be accessible, so I need a door frame there. I'm gonna put a door frame there. Then I'm gonna put a passageway. So there, I'm going to go ahead and remove this one right here. That's right. Okay. Then we're going to go. So I wonder. I probably just need to go here. That's what I need to do. Right there. Close that off. And then that'll let me link right around the corner there. So put in some armor, some uh, utility blocks for the top area, for this area right here. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think I'm mumbling. That's one thing I guess I'm going to have to figure out, make sure I do is not mumble. Never was a good speaker in public. There, staircase is right here. So we're going to put batteries in here. Let's see how many more of the. Uh, only have five of those other ones. Five of the big generators left. 
So I'm probably not going to put those in. I'll put those in on the the uh, floor where I do the the main bay. I haven't been able to load uh, reload a battery until I tried. It's not letting you do it. So. Storage is coming up. We're at 25,000, 32,000. We need to get to like 300,000. What are we at right now, actually? We're 56,000 right now. We should have plenty of room to add this stuff in. Okay, let's go with the batteries. And I think what I'm going to do on the end there is stack storage. Can I not attach to the back? Ah, oh, there's the downplay to use that. Hmm. Oh well, it is what it is, right? Oh. Alright, slow down, Robert. I feel like there's there's been a lot of um, uh, new players coming in, and that's good. So I think we need to play public games more often, uh, you know, because then they kind of like, oh. And then they have the advantage of the loot that we, we were able to get. And, you know, so anytime you can play a public game, play one. I wish the game would address some of the, like if I'm returning a box, it shouldn't go to, it should go to the, the property owner, you know, the, the, the person running the base, you know. 45,000 storage, we're at 3,000, uh, 70, we have 27,000 views. Four power is already where it needs to be, but we're going to keep going up with it. Okay, I'm going to do the back. Conveyor section uh, for the ammo. So I got one, two, three, four, five up there. I'm going to put four back here. That's it. Okay. And I think on the ammo, you kind of have to play with it a little bit uh, to see what you what your base needs. I feel like this base I built the King Hellfire that I built a couple weeks ago months ago it I think had the right setup like it was it, it still I still have it but um it had the right configuration that I needed to defeat the enemy still end up with enough ammo and supplies to you know just to make it so I thought it was a pretty good thing. So I still think it is. Sometimes I load it back in when I feel like, oh, I want to win a battle. You know what I'm saying? So, um, so I'm putting the storage on the bottom. But as that base fades into the back, and I start to get other ones to perform like I need them to, then I won't have that problem. It's just a matter of of learning that new setup and learning that new scenario. Probably need to do something to figure out the production yield, maybe mining more when I'm going through the game instead of grinding. Let's see if I get more from that versus just grinding a vehicle, you know? But I still, I still feel like the cost to put up a vehicle, to put out a, uh, put out a device, takes away from some of your cost. That's not centered correctly. 
There we go. Let's see if we lost anything. No, didn't lose the main one. Okay, didn't lose that one. Okay, we're good. Well, you gotta keep an eye on everything. Tweak everything. And figure it out. Still need to raise the tower up. That's not gonna go there, so let me put in some tiles. Probably gonna go up one more level and then put the the tower in place. Okay. Uh, storage. Um, batteries. I'm open, talking, clear, and trying to get audio worked out. I'm going to have to maybe watch some audio videos on how the pros do it, you know? I think I need to get a put a sock over the mic, and then that way I can talk a little louder, and it doesn't, uh, you know, blow out the mic, you know? So... If you guys know of any good mic videos, like optimizing your mic, how to get the audio just right, or speaking clearly, would be a good one, Robert. So, this floor will be closed in. It'll have um, a group of hellfires. Large plates, put those in place. I think this style of game could develop into uh, you know, just as they develop it into maybe a base jump in, base build competition. Uh, maybe we call them the top commanders, you know, or something like that. Yeah. Um, I think I'd quickly fade as a base as a as a base builder. I think I still have to take this thing out. Because hmm. there's a lot of people out there with a lot of ingenuity. I I like practical. I don't like um, the crazy styles that people make. And I've tried to make the crazy styles too, so you know, I've done the leaning. You can do the leaning pillar. It's pretty neat. Might incorporate that on the third level to point the health bar down. You know, I'll show you what that is. It's pretty neat. Takes a little bit of work, and it does. But I might just overshoot it with health bar. Thirty-seven to go. I'll probably get like 40, 46 of them on here before I decide. Oh, that's enough. I'm only going to try and use five large ammo loaders. Um, You're kidding me.
Okay. Yeah, I'm going to try to use five ammo loaders on the base. And let's put another. Let's see where I got this. Okay, I do have it right. Put the Xenium weapon there. And we'll lose that other connection whenever we... It's nice to know that it works, but I don't need it. Let's do the side first. The back first. <clears throat> the reason I put them on... Oh, that's not right. The reason I put them on the back is because I don't like the large corner that's left open. This way I get to put a... Oh, I'm in the rafters. A Xenium weapon out, you know. And so it doesn't leave a space or a gap. You know what I'm saying? So, where am I at? Okay, I'm off. Let's see. X, X, X. Oh, that's not it, Robert. Looks right. Let's put that large Xenium weapon up here. There we go, we have connection to both ammo loaders. That's why I can do the, the wall like it needs to be done. So I didn't forget to put in the small tiles right up here on the front. Uh, oops. And then right here as well. Oh. Does that go over there? Or this is there. Let's put in two. I can see that I can put in two tiles there. Yeah. Oh no, I can't. That's connected and that's connected. Okay. Oh, goodness. I'm a noob. There we go. All right, 28,000 core power. Not bad. Hmm. You see what you just did, Robert? There's a wall there. How's that going to work, Robert? Well, golly gee. That's my best goofy accent or Mickey, whatever you want to call it. Let's go ahead and put armored up. Yeah, we lost the connection to the other side, which I'm fine with that. Whoop, whoop. Okay, I gotta leave an opening there. I think this one I can get away with. Yeah. So that means I can get away with that. Gets me all four of them. Oh, oh my God! I'm in, I'm intersecting with the tower. I don't need that connection. I tend to make less entry points on the ship. Well, I used it all. All right, let's see if I can manufacture anything. <clears throat> and the reason why is because just you don't need that many. I don't think oh, I need iron plates. So let's see what I can do here. Oh, I can do 200 of them. Go ahead and do all 200 of them. Get to 20 and then hit it eight times. I hit it nine. Right. 64. It's going to do it one more time. Nope. Come on. Okay. That's it. Oh, I got to produce it. Huh. I need. Uh, okay. All right, here we go.
Oops. Hitting the wrong buttons there. Hmm. Well, you can't do that, Robert. Okay, we're back there. <sighs> While well, you check everything, what if I can do on here? Oh, there we go. Okay. <clears throat> that means I need to check. Oh, I got this one. Okay. Okay. It's a Christmas tree upside down. It's a ghost. Okay. So now, is this the floor I want to do it at? Go on the go from. Go up one more. I have to go up one more no matter what. And that pillar's out. Okay. So we're going to go up one more. Building this way allows you to do a lot more of these spaces right here because you have one floor you devote to your you know, recovery and stuff like that. Those floors are ammo and then small pathways to the ammo producers. And then the rest of it's storage or batteries. If you're creating an empty room, then you just don't need it. You could actually make your base smaller if you don't have the supplies. Uh, that are needed for the, the for the walls to go all the way. Okay, we'll see how fast our our storage goes up. That's ten thousand difference. Hmm. Love when it does that. I don't get why it doesn't. I don't like what floor I'm intersecting with. I guess. 57,000. See, that's, I don't understand. That. So I know here I'm going to have to come all the way up. Two, four, Six, that's good. Two, four, eight, that's good. And then here, I'm going to have to come all the way. So what I'm going to do is go, I need to do this too. So this will go all the way up. Because the batteries are not going to fit. And then the same thing. Over here. Okay, now let's get the batteries. Oh, wow, I'm going to have to go. I can't go there. Because the blocks are not right, so I'll have more space for storage. Still can't do that one over there, because I have no space for storage. So I'll be able to put more storage here. That's good. My air. Uh, 
trying to do well I could I could take that one out I'm not gonna worry about it because I have one whole more level to go uh, So what I'm going to do is pull this one out because, no. I think it's offset. I think I can get one additional one in there. So anywhere else that's not full, we're going to go to storage. 500 more to go. Can I get two layers on bottom? Surely not, right? Oh, this whole time. Hmm. That's good to know. You can do two storage containers under your batteries. That's going to make a big difference. Oh, I need to put the lighter in. Okay, start with a wall. Ladder. Doorway. Let's go ahead and finish adding this other layer in. Hmm. I guess I'm not the expert I think I am, right? They are who you think they are, right? That's the bears. That's the Vikings. It says that. Come on. When the bear's beating. What's that coach's name? I can't remember his name. I think he's passed away. He was the coach of the Vikings. Pretty good man. I think he wanted to own the team or be a team owner or something. Or never got the opportunity. Yeah, I left a whole row of All the way to the top. It's gonna go up here. I don't know why I'm whispering, so. Okay, we're at 100,000 storage. A total is 205, used as 100,000. Really? That's good. Okay, so we just cover this and then we got one more layer to go. We cover the whole thing, I guess. Mm, let's see. Insufficient power is always a good thing. Structural issues is another thing. Can't get past them. You have to go back and fix things. Today. Two layers, 2.4 million. That's not bad. Okay, and this was getting raised up one more day. Come on, drop it down. And if I want to go control Z, 
put in a doorway. Gotta have those hidden letters sometimes. I don't think you need them as much because once the robots, will, they'll try and destroy the bottom floor. And that's it. It's like, oh, okay, that's it. You know. Right. So this floor is going to be the floor where we run up and throw all the stuff into it, right? I mean, you know, how many of these do I have? 81. I think I got enough. Oops. Not that way. Not that way. Wah, wah, wah. I did a test video before I started uh, this video to see if my audio was any better with the down turned off. You know, I'm not getting the reverb. So I'm hoping that's the issue. I'm still going to have sound on the video from this because I'm, I'm not recording the speakers. I'm recording the game, game audio. So, and I can see where it's still spiking and dropping on the game. I'm in adjust mode. Adjust mode is pretty good. You can go in there, and that's how you adjust your firing solutions for your weapons and everything. So if you just want the cruiser cannons shooting at, you know, um, the walkie guys or the 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 main boss and the Chronos. And that's all you can, you can program it in, so you don't have to do it every time you get into the game. So it's very good. That way you can have your uh, Spear of Dawn programmed in. All you gotta do is turn it on. There's no uh, you know reprogramming it every time. So right there. There. So, staircases. Go ahead and add the things I haven't added all day. Now, we put three of these in. Uh, three blue ones in. I don't usually use the blue ones because I start out with almost 15,000 power anyway, so kind of one of those don't needs. This one right there to right here. Health is right there you know once you get further in the game the main thing you have to make sure you use it's not health it's uh it's the armor armor plates you have to put them back into your body you, you put it back into your armor and so before your armor gets all the way down you do that and then and what it does is it prevents you from dying or you're running around with no armor plating on your armor well guess what you're gonna die that's just the any any nature of anything, you know. You don't have any armor on your tanks, and your tanks are going to get destroyed. Uh, your armor vest, no armor vest, then you're going to get killed, you know. So, now am I on the wrong level? Oh. So I remember I can do two layers for batteries. Just good to know because I was doing one, so I was wasting a lot of space. I 
Okay. Yeah, it's battery time. Okay, I got armor plates on the outsides. Can't do nothing with those. Core power is at 34,000. Armor storage is 200 plus. All right, 200, 360. Wow. Can only go so far with this one. Mm -mm. thirteen thousand. I want to get to thirty. I want to get to forty thousand. That way, my starting storage power is going to be twenty thousand. Not. That's right. That starting energy makes a difference, for sure. I still think you should start out with some storage. You know. But I could see where it, it would be make the game much easier. Then they could just have the games make it harder. And you got two waves of enemies coming at you. Uh, fast waves. Let's go to three or four. You know. I like to see that. Not not all the time. Okay, I guess I'm one. <laughs> Alright, let's put the... I don't know if I need these, but I'm going to put them in anyway, because... You don't want to get to the top floor going, Hey, I got no... Uh, uh, this doesn't work. I probably don't need these because... Mm, can't go all the way to the edge with the building. That's the way I'm doing it. Really wish they would uh, have it where you can upgrade your platform. They're just going to have to modify the game where you can't go back and play level one and two with your base. Uh, you can then level five is a larger base, and level six is a even larger base, and then so forth and so on. You know, I'm in the rafters. I'm going to sneeze. Here it is. Oh, wow. Something not, I don't know my allergies. A lot of stuff going on in my health that I'm trying to figure out. I've changed my diet, changed everything, and it seems like, oh, you want to change that? Well, here you go. Yeah, nobody's doing that. But I guess some people may not be as susceptible. Well, susceptible. Subsept. I can't. I'm not gonna be able to say the word. Uh, predisposed to get it. Let's say that. Okay. Right. To get some of the pain's gonna go is going away, but it is what it is, you know. So. All right. 2.8 million, 35,000 core power, 200,000 storage. I think we're over 366 is where we're at right now. So, mm. show you how to do the slanted wall here in a second. Oops. I found out since I don't need as much uh, weapons that I can do some some crazy stuff, you know. Played in a battle the other day. I did 23 million damage. It's pretty good. I think 32 million was my highest uh, damage for a final battle. But I also had a guy that I was playing with, and he beat me, and I was like, I wasn't expecting him to beat me. So it's pretty cool when you get a player that's willing to play and be out there and, you know, put it all on the line for the game. Because you know, they're one, they're just as hungry for supplies as everybody else. Okay. 
So you take the small rampy ramp and you go right here, go across to there. And we're going to take the wall on it. The wall. And you want to do it this way because, man, trying to line this up is terrible. I'm going to take out areas to put stairs in. This is my leaning wall technique. Boom, boom. Oops, control Z. What did I take? I took it to the bottom. Okay, let's get a ladder. So, there we go. Yeah. Good try. Okay, small tiles. The the larger ones seem to have a better support. These you have to put in more of the um, the pillar, the uh, platform, large platform. What I'm going to do to make it easy on myself is just do all of it, and then. I'm going to take every third one, like that. Then we take the, I think I can get, hmm. So bear with me here, i got to figure this out. And then a large one is going to go there. Now you're probably asking, like, well, what if I put, don't put the large ones in there? Like, like I put these small, I put large ones all the way across. I don't put as many beams. Well, you, it, it'd be unsupported. I, I did one yesterday that I was trying to, um, now you can put, so let's see, you can put a row back here as well. You could put a bigger row up there. If you wanted to do, let's say you want to put cruiser cruiser cannons, Robert, on there. You could put cruiser cannons all across this thing at an angle. Okay, look at that. They'll still provide the up shooting ability and down shooting ability when you have the end battle and you're trying to just get rid of the big mon, big, get rid of as many things as possible. That looks actually pretty good. We're at a $3 million base value on this. Now, so if you say you're going to do a, a uh, not an infinity siege, but a regular uh, campaign, uh, then this is perfect. You don't have to do any ammo production at all for it. You know what I'm saying? Four of them is going to be, what, 30, 20, 48 rounds. If you're not killing at 48 rounds, you know, now I can still put uh, an ammo loader, and it doesn't really matter which way I put it, because what I'm going to do, it does it needs to be right there, and uh, right there. That gives both of them loaded. Now I could. Let's see if this is another option as well. Going one more. So we run into some stability issues. Now, let's go ahead and back it up and take these out. This whole row out right here. I, think I took something out I'm supposed to take out. And just go ahead and uh, delete it. Now, Go with the larger pieces. Yep. And then we should have enough support going back. Now, the thing I can do, I think, is this right here. And there it goes you have the support now you can go even further up do that let's add that in and if i make this area tall enough i can 
put mechs back here and make a mech bay. You know what I'm saying? Two over, and then on the end. So, the only problem I do run into is if I put one of these up here. Uh, it doesn't support the, the utility tile, which I don't understand why. Let's see if, let's go ahead and just, oh, let me put some pores in. Okay, I got invalid, so I'm losing support as I go across. Okay, so control Z, let's move that down right there. I'm colliding. So obviously that's not a good deal. So let's take this one out and see if we start to cause a support issue. We have one in the middle. Let's go ahead and take that out. So now that still allows me to do uh, the smaller ammo producers. So. That's, that's, okay. Okay, there we go. Wow. I think I got that one to place. So what I may need to do is put some beams under here again. Utility. Yep. Yeah. So there's the problem that happens. But since we got these further far enough down, what we're going to do is take all this off. And then that'll allow me to put a Supreme Auto ammo. There it is. Okay, so. Close this off. <clears throat> Since we're probably going to be making this three tall, perfect area to do what I've been wanting to do is probably never need this many mechs, but. You might as well, you know what I mean? And this is all in an effort to have it where the bottom ammo loaders are the main battle components. They take all the ammo, they take everything. And so we're not we're not worried about it up here as much because um, they're 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 the workhorse of the ship. We already have, uh, well, we have 59, I have 15 left. So 45, right? 44 Hellfire is what's on the ship. That's, I mean, that's great. Now I could turn these around, but I think you're not going to be able to use the outside edge. So if I turn them around, I can't put nothing here in this edge, the last square here, you know? So I think that's the best use of that. So now I'm going to go up three levels, and then I'm going to put on the second level, I'm going to put a, a large ammo producer in the middle, and then that's going to feed the top level. Then we're going to put two Spears of Dawn on it, and a bunch of Hellfire on top to produce, uh, and then also artillery cannons. So that's what we're going to do on the roof itself. So let me quit moving. We're going to use regular walls. I think I got 31 of those left. I'm just going to use regular ones because I need the production space. So let's see if we can go over here. No. So these are like the uh, Hellfire. They they only loaded a certain. Um, they have to have two and a, uh, two full tiles and a half of another, or a quarter of another, a little eighth of another one. So. Um, Yeah, 
good thing is on this leaning wall here, you can go and put a, oops. And this is going to get our core power where it needs to be because we're going to add in the, the remaining storage and the remaining batteries up here. So right here needs to come out. <clears throat> and my rules are, what do we have insufficient power? Where are we at? Oh, it's on the back. Hmm. Haven't put a tile in yet. There we go. Got to pay attention. There'll be a test at the end. We have a core power of 36,000, which is really good. I mean, it's it's at the, we're at the limit at 10,000, but if, if you lose any component, that core value starts to drop. Well, if I'm at a 90% core power, oh, you know, I have a, I still have a lot more to lose. I think that's my opinion of it. If I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. Need to do a live feed is what I need to do. The I get the results. I've never done a live feed, you know, like a stream to YouTube kind of thing. It would be interesting to do, you know. And then kind of humbling at the same time, you know. Because you have oh look, nobody's watching. You know. Looks like I ran out. Oh no, I did. Uh, I'm gonna run it. I have six left. Okay. 270,000, it puts us half a million, 506,000. Oh, that's not bad at all. Now batteries. So I have another layer of batteries. To put in this next layer. Uh, I used to do like weapons, 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 and then I started seeing like, okay, I'm not getting the output that I need for the material I'm getting. <clears throat> and I feel like uh, maybe I'm not using the miners as much as I need to, you know. During throughout the game. That reminds me on the next level. I need to go through and put in miners, all my all my extra stuff. Twenty two thousand energy. Not bad. That's something I'm not dependent on at all is the, the additional weapon support. I usually do enough to where I can maintain it. And if you have enough people playing, what, I got enough, okay. That are willing to get out there and get into the thick of it, then you're, you know, have no problem. Hmm. Okay, that put us at 30,000 almost. Still got one more layer to go for to get rid of all the power. I got 76 batteries. It'd be nice to get to 32 or 33,000. That means my starting uh, power would be 
roughly uh, 16,000. See if I can put anything here. Nope. Okay, control Z, right click, rotate I me. Mean. I've lost some of these uh, units. I probably need to go through and change out two of them. Let's get rid of that one and that one. Some people like these uh, ranger hanger, ranger lots for damage. The other ones, the, the Vanguard, they hold 6,000 rounds. So when you're in the thick of it, you don't need to, you can't change your, can't reload your weapons. The Vanguard will last longer. But some people like the fly capability on this. Fly out to an area, retrieve the goods during the gameplay, and then come back. I, I think the 2,000 round limit is a little low. That's me. All right, let's go up one more level. We're at a 40,000 core power almost. wonder how much I get for putting the floor in. There we go. Nothing. <laughs> uh, am I getting anything for the core power? Hmm. Well, we're over 3.5 million on the base value. Okay. I, these overlays of like the base value and stuff like that, and the mouse getting away to click to build something. A little ridiculous. That's good. <clears throat> okay, come on down. Curious. The 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 fear of dons only go up so high. I wonder if I can build up over them. As long as I don't do a direct fire. Hmm. Indirect fire is going to be my issue. <clears throat> I think I need this for storage anything right now. So I'm going to go ahead and bring the ladder up. All right. So let me regroup what I'm doing here. I think I'm going to add in. <clears throat> I'm going to get a drink real quick. Hang on. For now, this is probably just going to be a layer of batteries. And we're going to go with that. And then next layer is going to have Spear of Dawn on it. And I'm going to try and, and I'm going to put an ammo loader right here in the front. That would be for these, to tie into these. And then I'm going to put the Spear of Dawn as far back as I can, which means I need to add in the rear platforms correctly. So I need to pull this back row off. Oops. Control Z. Got a wall there. Got to pay attention. There'll be a test at the end. Seriously, I'm going to go test. That's one thing I haven't done a lot of. Can I go there? No. Or do I go like this? That. Don't know if it's going to make a difference. 
I guess open the floodgates there, Robert. Just hit the escape button a dozen more times. <sighs> Should be able to get two more layers out of it. Still have to place um, an ammo loader. I may only put ooh, only put one spear of dawn on. I have five of them. It's just I never. You only use it at the end, so I guess it doesn't take too much. Here. I don't know. Okay, so let's move over here. That. We're going to put in some shock waves here. There. May have to put those on top. I may have to put them on the bottom in the back. That may be. I'm gonna put one down there at the bottom. Because I've noticed that it feels oh no no. A lot of energy to like a plane. So I don't know if if it goes down or if it just does on that level. And they really need to be on bottom. So I'm gonna have to do a little bit of research in placing this on the platform to see how it works. Okay, so I'm probably going to leave them open since they're under the platform. That's so I can do command mode and click them and uh, be able to use them. I have three of them all together. The good thing about having three of them is Bam, bam, bam. So if you want to wipe, you got a big wave coming and you want to wipe out. You can hit them, then hit them again, then hit them. Yeah. The other thing, I'm just going to have to see if if it's a uh, plane level. What the heck? Okay. Plane level, like, do they need to be on the ground? Level? If that's the case, then I'm going to have to start incorporating them early on in the game, maybe right as you walk through the door. If that's a more effective use of it, then that's what it would Let's take this off. Let's go to the batteries, Robert. Come on. Act like you've done this before this week. I think the key thing that you have to do when you're building these bases or playing this game is have team members that come in with the ammo that's needed. You know. But if they're not doing that, then you know their backpacks are empty for what why why? You know what I'm saying? Because they're not you're going to end up with like when you get done playing one of my levels uh, i've seen where i was able to make 46 cases of ammo so you're not losing for sure uh but you're going to gain is because you made it past that level you were actually 
successful in your battle. If you're not successful, then you've wasted two hours of your playing, and I think I don't have any more left. Wow. 35,000 core power. That puts us at 17, 16, 17, 18 and a half thousand. Let's see if I can produce any batter. Ooh, I can produce 10 of them. Woo -woo! 10 of them, baby. Uh. All right. Uh, and I could probably not put another 50 up here. But that starting corp that starting battery power, oof, it makes the game that much. 35,800. So I'm going to end up with uh, 17,400, right? Yeah, 35 divided by 2, 17 and a half. 17,900? Yeah. Now, that's not going to be right because once I have this floor and I put two spheres of dawn up here, it's going to knock out about 10,000. Uh, maybe not that much. I'm over -jaggered. Look at that. I left the whole wall. Left the whole section clean. Okay. So that's something to work on. I probably could go down here and have 700 of these. But, you know. Maybe. That's 100. Not worth it. Well, let's see. Get over 36,000. That's nice. I'll go ahead and put them in. I have them. Might as well do it, right? I have 700 of them. So the, the key thing would be to, it's going to be easy to convert these over. I just got to figure out what I need. 36,000. So it didn't, it didn't affect much. So that's half that's what, uh, 19,000 starting core power, starting energy. And that's, you know, so I could put a whole layer, two layers of storage under these things. That would get my storage capacity up, or I can use more Xenium weapons. Uh, hmm. I'm in the attic. Okay, let's put the floor in, like I talked about earlier. I did that one time. I built a base. I left the whole entire storage. You know, I didn't put nothing in there. I was like, uh, zooming through to check the levels, you know, just to see what I have and you know, how, if it's going to work and stuff like that. And I was like, oh, wow, this floor doesn't have anything. I was just trying to get through to the top level, see if I was, uh, I guess, able to put that, that floor in, you know. Okay. So this is going to be a combination of Hellfire or above the F on our spear of dawn and uh, some the top of the base defense and other stuff. Let's see. So let's put one supreme ammo loader up here, turn it around. It's feeding those two in the smaller ones. I wonder if I get rid of this one, it feeds the other one. Nope. So that's good. And this will be for an infinity siege. So during regular battle, I'll, I'll never never load these. Now I, I may load them with stuff that I collect along the way, but I'm not going to load them by producing that material. So let's see. Well, that's that's not the right block, Robert. Always messed up on that armored block versus. Uh, mm. Okay, so I'm going to need to look at this first. I think it offset. Let's, there we go. <clears throat> now, if we're truly going to stick the... So I need to go to the back, put in the extra size tiles. Am I above this yet? No, I'm not. The only problem with putting these in, that little antenna there. Can do four right there. And the back of the Spear of Dawn can stick off the edge. So 
Yeah. But I just don't want to end up with two of those and nothing else. I want to put artillery launchers throughout the bay, the bay here. Let's see if I made, I priced myself out of room here. Oh, wow. Let's come all the way forward. How far can I go? Nope. So there's your, there's your lock in point. Yeah, I'll see it on the front right there. So I can't overlap that far. So <clears throat> so the key lock in is right there, right there on each each corner of the leg. It's right there. All right, so look at that. We're able to get these in. We're going to turn them on both sides. I use these primarily on the end level to deal with the tanks. <clears throat> the Hellfire will take out your second guy, your blades, your rail gun, stuff like that. Won't matter. Let's see something I didn't do. Put a door right there. All right. Let's see if I can. I think these are well used for where you know during the battle uh, to get into alleyways and stuff like that. Now, the only problem is, where am I going to have to stick them to get them to reload? Now, so here's what we can do. We can stick in a small one. It makes connection, so there we go. <clears throat> okay. Okay, I feel like that is more than enough to ward off the attack. Uh, they actually will go into the alleys. Well, we want to put one shell producer in the middle. We're probably going to add two more ammo producers on each side. May have to try one level where I turn these cannons on the front off and just use the help Spear of Dawn to attack them, not not turn them off, but use them uh, for the for other things, which I don't see why. These are kind of either or use these or don't use these, but if you don't use them and somebody shoots them once, you're out of a lot of it takes three thousand and two hundred energy, three thousand material and two hundred energy to uh, reload now i did find a way to reload these uh back here it only takes 300 so that's key in any game it took me forever to get enough conveyors to just use as many as i want you know what i'm saying like, I have 163 left. It took me forever to get to that point. Just getting Xenium, getting Xenium, hanging on to it, you know, just to get. Uh, these are for the Blue Nebula guys. Somebody had pointed out to me that my Pyro weren't good enough. It's okay. You know, criticism's good. Takes me up my game. So, 
I still put these uh, pyros in because I feel like oh, that one's further forward and that one's further back. So can I move this one further forward? Hmm. I think I can. I think I did. We're calling this the ring of fire. Like, so I put a ring of pyro around my turret. Go ahead and jump in. I double dog dare you. I'm going to do that. Put five up. Oh no, I'm good. Let's see what I did. <laughs> oh, that's a good one, Robert. Okay. Hmm. Oh, I forgot to put drones on there. Oh, okay. Oh. Did I? Hmm. I can put them right here. Give people plenty of stuff to send back. I like those bases where the tower's right there and the drones are right behind it. Good luck. So we're at 3.9 million. Things I haven't done yet is the... And that's, that's the only problem. I may not have support here to do this part. And we'll see in a second. Um, to add the uh, amplifiers to it. I should get a red... Yep. Can't do that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. See if I can do this. See if this reaches. Oh, yeah. Let's just go all across with it. The tiny victories, right? <laughs> All right. Damage amplifiers all the way across. That. Let's see if I can put in a Xenium weapon. Cut that storage down. So we have an angular, you know, assault going on. That's the good thing about this design. <laughs> now, you could put Hellfire on there. And... You know, have it set up the same way. <laughs> <coughs> Remove that bottom floor in the front, make it one bar across. Maybe they get a better downward shooting at the ground. You know, I haven't tried putting ramps on here, like re ramping it again. Maybe making it where it points way down. That's something I could try. You know, I'll never, never know. I could take all these off the side, put a ramp on the second floor, angle the wall, and, and shoot it down, you know, and have all that up here. Now, let's see. I really can't go up any higher. $4 million base value. Let's sell. Uh, Forty-one thousand, that thirty-five thousand. That's not bad, to be honest with you. 
really good. Now we just need to see what happens in combat. I'm going to leave the bottom because I have a row of pyro down there. Still across. I don't think I can do across the back. Leave myself enough of a gap. Okay, get out of the seal floor. Come on. People don't want to see the daggum hydraulic lines. Hmm. Now, I have, how many Xenium weapons do I have on? I think I have number six. I have one of those. No, there we go. One. Okay. Five of those or one of those. Okay, let's change that out. I want them all to be the same. I only took out 50,000 storage. That's not bad. So now you can go into adjust and this is where you can select your modify your xenium right now they have 35 30 millimeter shredded shred ammo and i like to put on so this one is a 15 second time recovery eight second eight and then 66 cost this is a damage of eight now let me see what else i can what the damage goes up here damage of nine 15 point cost is 75 though Okay, cost is 66. 15 second firing integral. integral. No. But it'll put down three flaming beams. A tri flame. No, it'll put down one bang. But 15 seconds, boom. Psh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then you. Psh. But these things will destroy 30 feet of enemy. And so then I can go to any weapon. I want to do a cluster missile. Uh, well, what's the expense on that? 120. So that's obviously not a is a no go. We want this one right here. Eight damage va valuation. Eight. I don't know if that makes a difference, but if I do go up to a different one, this is a 9.7, 75 ammo, still 15 seconds recovery. Uh, do I want time versus energy consumption? I think I want to stick with this ammo cost. So. Now, once you save that in, you just escape. So over here, shift or shift rubber, and I can, should be able to select. Oh, just click, just double click. Sorry. And so you can put the range all the way up. Drop this down right here. Get rid of that. Hit OK. Oops, did I do it right? Master, blah blah blah. Okay, yeah. Now that'll be set like that when you go into the game. Now let's go up here. Double click. Get both of them. We don't, I do not want to do those. It's too expensive, too costly. We just want to do that. The maximum high threat. There we go. Now back here, just double click and it gets both of them. Configure the uh, thing, go for range. We don't want to, I want to do just these guys. It's a maximum threat. Hit OK. Now for these, we're going to configure these turrets. We're going to go for range. I'm not going to worry about these. One of these are these. Hmm. I think early on I'll do these. And later on in the game, when I want to get rid of the enemy, I'll select these. But during the course of the, the the event, I don't want to do any of that. Now let's take a look at the Hellfire. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, adjust. Alright, we have... I don't know how many we have selected, but you can see there's quite a bit. Six on 12 on front, 12 on back. And it looks like five on the side, 10 on the sides. So 24 plus 20 is 44 hellfire. Let's configure the turn to the full range. And we're not going to focus on this guy. We're going to focus on these two. We want to make sure we take him out quick. These as well. There. And so bam, 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 take out the little ones. Probably going to regret this configuration probably better to go back i don't know i'm going to see what it does 
and we'll go from there. So that's your base configured right there. I tried setting up the ammo loaders. All you do, they can group them. That's great. But I tried turning them off and on, and nothing. You know what I'm saying? So. So we're at a $4 million base, base valuation. Okay, so I'm wondering. If we can get... something else over here. No, oh. you have to put a wall on. That's it. Wow. That is going to be part of my problem. It's getting a ladder over here. So all I have is insufficient power, not support. Okay. Look at that. One. Um, played one Spear of Dawn, or one uh, Return to Dawn one, and I had to turn the turn all the way around just to get it to work. I feel like this is a little bit over excessive. I still gotta put that wall in. <laughs> I'll probably undo all this and go, oh, that's good enough. Oh, wait. Oh, I already asked the wall, Robert. Wow. It's truly amateur day. I 
I could put motors down there and put in some hellfire there or something if I wanted to. Maybe more Xenium weapons. I could tilt this down. Hmm. I have to come back and build the platform right there. So no, I can't do it right now. But other options are available. We could look at everything. I wonder if I could fit another Spear of Dawn in there. Kind of a little excessive at that point. Mm -mm. Nope, I'd have to move that one in. One, and I could do that too. Wow, that'd be too much. I think this is too much as it is. Reason I'm not putting the cannons all the way to right here, which I don't think it matters because that thing's going to tilt up. It's going to still spin and hit that anyway. Oh, okay, good. I don't have to worry about that. Oh, this one's set out further. Let's move this back in. Let's move this one even further back. Can I do that? No. So it's lined up with the back foot. I think that one on the other side's further back. There we go. That's good. Okay. And that's what the roof looks like for the third time. <clears throat> if you don't save this game, it will uh, play havoc with you. Let's see. Hmm. And I could put in these, put in two of them, puts me at 12 of those on the ship, probably a little bit much for four people, It'd be nice if they went to 10 people and then up the gameplay, put us on like missions, like your task to go, what, two of the team members have to go down the side road or something you know like say a couple clicks and pick something up you know i don't know how this all the way forward okay nope something's going on is that it Hmm. My hands, oh no, I just put one over there. Okay. So let's go ahead and just put it right there. <clears throat> oh, I'm into the back of the cannon anyway. So. Okay, am I all the way out or not? Oh yeah, I'm all the way out. That means I could have done one more layer and put in more batteries and more storage if I needed to. Let's see if I can get uh, some uh, fire amplifiers on the back. Let's not turn the red. Okay, let's see if I can get... So let's go... Need to back it up just a little bit because it, uh, I'm not able to put the middle one on. Okay, let's go back up. 
Let's go ahead and move this one in. I think I'm going to end it right there. As soon as I get this done, I'm going to do a little bit of a show off. Uh, at the end here. Did you not put one in the middle? That's the other thing I need to do. Mm. Yes. This large artillery don't want that combat coverage. Okay, next. Let's go right here. Combat compact outpost. There we go. Smart stack wall. So let's make a big difference. Spring traps, not worried about those. I'm not doing a large artillery. Um, I already got some of those in. I'm going to put the other one. Don't want that. Seven of those. You get 10 for every one. That's 70. Okay. All right, we have a little over 17,000 starting energy, 270,000. By half a million storage, 27,000 open storage, so I can go ahead and add more Xenium. 41,000 core power, but you really only need 10 to get everything you got. F. All right. Let's save. Okay.
All right, we're saved number 36. I'm going to go ahead and edit it real quick. Let's do a little show. Oh, let's, uh, uh, black light. Okay. Black light. Let's do that. Falcon One. I think that sounds like a good name. <laughs> okay, confirm takes a little bit of time. <clears throat> I'm hoping this recording sounds better. All right, we're gonna uh, go back and load that layout. Okay, here we go. Oops, oh, no, back into the basement. We're going to do a little show off. Here we go. Oh, that's good. Not bad at all. So technically, I could raise up, pull the Spear of Dawn out, and go with a larger artillery in the middle on the top surface of the ship itself. Slide the, uh, the Spear of Dawn's out onto those two wings on the side. And there it is, the Spear of Dawn. Hellfire. Charging Xenium turret. What the hell are like four uh, Sea Wizzes combined, but they have a larger Gat they have a larger Gatlin. They're using a larger ammunition, twenty two millimeter bullet. The rocket array, more rocket array, more hellfire turrets. The Vanguard. I could put another layer on top as well and create and then come up over the front of those these are those these cruiser cannons with that other layer and add another six cruiser cannons on top in the front two hellfire two spear of dawn in the back and then some artillery there you have it like and subscribe thanks for watching hopefully the audio is better see you on the flip side hopefully i'll see you at your plane good luck